Hi, Chris with Trimble Forensics, and today we're going out on scene with the Trimble SX10 and Trimble Forensics Capture, and we're going to show you a very quick way to use a robotic total station or a R4 GNSS receiver with Trimble Forensics Capture to map a scene very quickly using quick codes, auto stationary, and doing our line work all at the same time. Let's get to it right after the break. Okay, so I'm setting up my quick codes, and I already have my first one in, which is curb, and it's line 10. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tap and hold on one of the empty ones. And I'm going to set this also as curb. I'm going to have this be line 11. Tap and hold, set this one up, and this is going to be curb. And when I hit the blue tick box, it's going to automatically increment up one line. So this will be line 12. And this will be line 13. So I have curbs 11 or 10, 11, 12, and 13. All right, so I'm set to go and I'm ready to start mapping my curb. What I'm going to do is I'm going to press the curb 10 button down at the bottom in my quick codes. And I'm going to move along to where the curb curve starts. I'm just going to press the curb 10 button. When we zoom in just a little bit, we'll see what it's doing. As I, as I work my way around the curb. And now when I zoom in, we can see that it's done all of my line work for me. Okay, so now we're ready to do auto stationary. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move over now into my 2D just so we can see what we're working with. And we now have our eastern side of our roadway done. So in our measurement mode, let's move from quick codes over to auto stationary. And this is going to be a curb, this is going to be a line, and I'm just going to start with line 30 because I know line 30 hasn't been used yet. Now when I click play, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my data collector and prism very still and very level. And it's going to take a point. Now we're ready to go. So as I begin walking, you'll notice that we have a little red dot down here in the bottom right. And when I stop, that is going to be my level indicator. When it is level, we're going to start a countdown. And as I move around, once I am leveled up, my countdown starts. And I begin working my way around my curb. Now, if I stop, and I place the prism pole out of level, you'll notice that the countdown is not running. But when I bring it into level, my countdown starts. And even when my countdown nears completion, if I move it out of level, it's going to stop that countdown. And it'll restart it again once I'm level. And what this is is a check to just make sure that it's level. You're not going to get a bad point here because you're out of level. So let's finish up. I'm going to jump over to the other side. And this is going to be line number 31. And I'm just going to finish working my way around my curb.